Now, I bet if you've never cured salmon before, you're probably thinking, I need an armoury of skill that I don't possess and it's too hard and I can't make it. It is surprisingly easy and I'm going to show you how easy it is today. I've got my salmon fillets that we've just picked up at the deli. Now, this is a Scandinavian recipe and I think somewhere along the line, the word gravelax, which this is referred to, comes from the meaning grave. So we basically bury that salmon in a grave of sugar and salt and some other aromatics to give us our cured salmon. Right, I am going today with beetroot cured salmon. So our beetroot gives us a beautiful earthy flavour. The beetroot also has a lovely purple hue to the outside of that bright orange salmon. So it looks fantastic and it tastes fantastic. I've got one fresh beetroot. I've put a glove on because I don't want pink fingers when my guests come around to try this recipe. And you just want a box grater and you just want to roughly grate the beetroot. Now going in with some rock salt. It's a lot of salt, uh, I know. You're not actually going to eat that. The salt, as I said, is gonna draw a lot of the moisture out from the salmon. And we go in with some sugar as well. Same thing, I know it's a lot, but we need to get enough to make our grave for that salmon. Right, some aromatics. I have gone with some caraway seeds today, but you could put cumin seeds, any kind of aromatics that you like with salmon. I've also got some dill. Sometimes at home I throw in a little glug of gin or vodka as well into this mixture. So you can do a gin and beetroot cured salmon or a vodka and beetroot cured salmon. So to cure the salmon, no cooking involved. This, the sugar and the salt is naturally going to cook the salmon. We need a couple of large pieces of cling film and just pop a handful of that beetroot mixture on salmon on top of that. Now I like to cure with the salmon still with the skin on one side. This is quite a heavy mixture of sugar and salt and I don't want it too salty and that skin just protects some of the salt from going into the flesh of the salmon. Make our little grave of beetroot. All right, that's it. I'm gonna take my glove off. No purple fingers. All you want to do now is just wrap up the salmon, nice and tight. The salt and the sugar is gonna draw some liquid from that beetroot and it'll start leaching out. Right, pop this onto a plate. This needs anywhere from 12 to 24 hours in the fridge. You don't think we're gonna wait 12 or 24 hours, do you? I've got one under here we made yesterday. I'm not gonna do that whole, here's one we prepared earlier. We made one yesterday, so we could just roll on with this recipe for you. Right, I need to pop the gloves back on again. And you'll, I mean, it's kind of good to have both of them here. You can see here, this one, how much juice, and I can feel how firm that fish is. This fish is nice and soft, and that's how we know it's cured. The fish will go firm, which means a lot of the moisture has come out of it. Right, we're gonna unwrap. So you wanna get as much as the curing mixture off the fish as you can. Now, we need some condiments to go with our cured salmon and the classic condiment to go with it is a flavoured cream cheese. We need about a cup of cream cheese and this is 250 grams, so that's a cup. There we go, nice and easy. Now, my favourite combination is horseradish. So we get a beautiful heat from the horseradish. If you can find fresh horseradish, of course use fresh. We've just got some jarred horseradish cream. And I'm gonna go in with some lemon zest. Grab a little microplane. Obviously citrus and fish go hand in hand. All right, lemon zest. The rest of the dill that I've reserved from the salmon. Just give that a little slice up. All right, in she goes. Dill, lemon, horseradish, our cream cheese. Just give this a whisk. It will eventually soften up the more that I whisk this, and we want to work all of that dill and lemon through the cream cheese. Right, we just need some other condiments to go with this. You could serve this uh, in a salad with potatoes. My favourite way to serve this is on some crunchy croutons I've got our horseradish cream 
and I like some refreshing cucumber. So I've got a little peeler here. I'm just going to peel these into ribbons. All right, that's just into some chilled water. That's going to keep those cucumber ribbons nice and fresh. Right, got a little serving plate here. This is a fantastic entertaining dish. So I love to pop this onto a big platter and just let everyone make their own little salmon bite. So just some toasted croutons, handful of our refreshing cucumber ribbons, our beautiful cured salmon. Look at those colours. That's what entertaining is about. You've got to make the food look beautiful as well. I've got a little French onion here or golden shallot, French shallot, whatever you want to call it. All right, I like to just pop some of these over. This is what I have in my bagels when I go over to New York. Salmon, cream cheese, and always a few little pieces of onion. So that's why it's going on here. All right, pop that down in front of your guests. Put it in the middle of the table. Get the drinks on ice. This is how I would serve it. Little crunchy crouton. Some refreshing cucumber. Look at that salmon. Absolute thing of beauty. That cured salmon goes over. Look at that, a fantastic, easy make-ahead recipe. Next time you've got guests coming around, it looks fantastic, it's healthy, it's perfect for summer. Get the rosé on ice and try out my cured salmon.